Hi everybody, welcome to Unwrapped. I'm Mark Summers and today we're munching our way through the world of crunchy foods. And when it comes to crunchy candy bars, one name says it all, the Nestle Crunch Bar. These guys have been around since the 1930s and believe it or not, they are still cranking out 500 crunch bars every minute. You gotta watch this. It's a crispy chocolatey candy bar people recognize with just one word. The big letters on the front say it all. It is a crunch bar, and with every bite, you get a resounding crunch in your mouth, which makes it different than a boring candy bar of sorts, if you will. Chocolate lovers have been munching on Nestle Crunch Bars since 1932. And it was invented after the Nestle Milk Chocolate Bar was actually quite popular. The idea was to spice up the standard bar with a secret crispy crunch on the inside. Nestle Crunch has an amazing following, not only in the United States, but throughout the world. The Nestle factory in Bloomington, Illinois, is truly the crunch capital. Would you believe 67 million crunch bars cruise out of here each year? In one year, we make enough crunch bars that if we were to lay them out flat on an American football field, we'd be able to fill up 95 football fields. It all begins when large tanker trucks arrive full of chocolate. From the tankers, we pump the chocolate into our storage tanks, and our storage tanks hold 100,000 pounds of chocolate. Pipes feed the chocolate to a tempering machine for cooling. The process allows the chocolate to set up later. What you're doing is you're building crystals, convert it, to be able to take a liquid to a solid. Then it's time for the one ingredient that gives each crunch bar its crunch. This is called scrumptious rice the key ingredient to making a crunch bar. Barrels of crisp rice load into a bin above the depositor. Computers control the rice and chocolate so just the right amount of each blends together. If you're curious, there's about 400 pieces of scrumptious rice in every bar. The depositor drops the chocolate mixture into each crunch bar mold below. Check this out. The molds vibrate their way through a series of shakers to make sure the chocolate fills in each little corner evenly. That way you get a nice flat bar and the texture is right. Next, conveyor belts move the crunch bars to a cooler where they harden in about 20 minutes. Ever wonder how they get the bars out of the molds? Watch as the trays roll around a conveyor belt and hammers gently whack the bars right out. The process actually starts with a little twist underneath. The twister is kind of like an ice tray. You would take an ice tray and twist it, and the ice pops out. Same uh, concept here. It's releasing the bars somewhat from the mold, and when it goes up to the molder, then it's able to knock the bars out of the mold right. Once out of the mold, each crunch bar quickly heads into that familiar foil wrapper. One Nestle crunch bar takes about 25 minutes from the depositor to the time where it gets put into the case. After this, it's all about eating the crunch bar. 